Today I will present the Foca, which is a, a camera which was made in France in the 50s and is fully me mechanical. Uh, no electronic, no batteries, no light meter, nothing. Uh, purely me mechanical. You just turn here to make uh, to advance the film and you shoot. Right. Um, this button has only the purpose of uh, as a reminder. It tells you if you have a color film, a black and white film, uh, what kind of uh, settings you have, but it's only a reminder. I mean, there's no real uh, uh, use for it, uh, except to rewind at the end of the film. Um, to, to load the film, you have to open it on the back and the old block gets out. You load your film here. There's a, a little presser here to, to, to help uh, pressing the film on the on, on the dots here, which is which is a good idea, and then you connect it again, right? Uh, sometimes it's a bit clumsy, but uh, it's okay, right? Back, and that's it. Ready to shoot. Well, ready to shoot. You you've got a, a counter here, uh, which I think you have to. Uh, you can. Uh, um, move to zero when you when you start or it moves automatically I don't I don't remember but it's not very important at the end you you, you will feel when you reach the end of the film anyway and then you have to, you've got to rewind manually all the settings are on the lens so the first is the uh, uh, aperture settings from 3.5 to 16 on my model then the speed from uh, B bulb mode to uh, one thirty uh, one three hundred of a second, and uh, the last one is the distance from uh, zero seventy five meters to infinity, and you've got some red markings which are for the hyperfocal, so eleven eight eleven and sixteen opening are marked in red, so it means you've got better chance to have a focus because the length of uh, field is greater and uh, when you do that you can select the four which is also marked in red for the the distance so the uh, hyperfocal is a uh, allows you to have a bright um, from uh, close range to middle range and they say uh, the 125th of a second is marked in red because i think if you if you are closing here Obviously, you have to uh, have a, a rather slow speed to compensate for the for the the the, the, the light being uh, less due to the small aperture. And if you do less, then it would be shaking. So it's a, it's a limit where it's not shaking. Uh, and with those settings, uh, uh, throw uh, I mean a 400 uh, ASA uh, film in it. It's, it's safer. I think you would have uh, more chance to, to have enough light to do that. Uh, and you, you can go and shoot. So, rather discreet. So, quite good for uh, um, street shooting. Um, the viewer is a bit small, but it's okay. I mean, no rangefinder, no nothing. Uh, it's a cold shoe, so flash if you need the flash. Uh, you've got the synchronized here with a small uh, uh, wiring. Uh, some flash, some old flash do that. And uh, I think for the flash speed, I've probably... Uh, there's no marking, I don't know, maybe 25th of a second is, is okay. I, I don't know which uh, one is recommended. I quite never shoot with flash anyway. So I took it out and went uh, to shoot a, a roll of uh, black and white film uh, on the seaside and um, I got some not so good results because I think maybe I, I, my opening, I, I think I selected 8, I would rather have selected 11 or 16 to have a greater depth of field and sometimes I had some a bit blurry um, but some good results also, and it's 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 a cool looking camera. I mean, it's uh, it's nice, it's uh, it's solid, and it's mechanical. It won't uh, won't have any trouble with uh, pff, uh, batteries uh, being low or whatever, and uh, because there's no battery, <laughs> only mechanical. 
and uh, it, it's nice. It's a, it's good looking camera, made in France. In uh, I think the made in France here. You can see the marking France. It was uh, built in uh, I think in uh, uh, close to Paris in Levallois Perret, and uh, they they are very cheap. I mean I paid for mine ten euros, so. I think I was lucky, maybe it's 20, but uh, still you can find the Focus Sport is a rather cheap camera to find and it's a, it's a nice and sturdy camera, so good looking. Uh, I like to look. Uh, I, I, I think yeah, it's like a, a bit like a, like in a Spider-Man movie or <laughs> you know that kind of uh, cool camera, a bit, uh, bit old-fashioned and uh, a lot of metal. Uh, I like it. So. I will put the photos behind um, just after that. Uh, tell me if you if you like it and uh, please comment and tell me what you think about that camera. Bye bye.